What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be doing a six month review on the Octo Essence 130 made by Reef Octopus. Now, I do have a video of how this thing goes together and how easy it is and all the cool new functions that it has compared to um, its older skimmer design. I will leave a link right up above to that video in case you uh, want to check it out. And also, I am going to leave um, a link in the description to Murphy's Aquatics because he's the one who recommended this skimmer to me and I have had not one issue with this in six months. I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. I've had no problems. I just cleaned it two days ago. I've soaked it in, um, I did its little six month uh, cleaning, I guess you could say. I soaked it in a uh, five gallon bucket with about three quarters of a gallon of uh, distilled vinegar and uh, about four gallons of warm water. I let it run for two days, took it apart, gave it a good toothbrush cleaning, and um, this this is it. After uh, about three days, maybe this is like the fourth morning, it broke in immediately, just like when I originally installed it. Uh, again, this thing is just awesome. You know, this is just a, a quick little six-month review, and I'll go over a couple features in case you haven't <coughs> um, seen it. So, down here, there's these little red clips to take everything apart. There's no screws on this thing. You just pop the clips out by your hand, take the little venturi off, and you can see right here, this is the integrated silencer. I actually have my airline. Uh, I can show you right now. You see this tubing? It's actually run outside, so I'm not using the silencer, but otherwise, I really like this because it's, you know, it's integrated in this collar right here. And um, I know a couple people said, hey, you know, salt creep is going to get up in there and clog it. Well, when I took this thing after six months and I took it apart, there was no salt creep on it. There was nothing blocking the airway. So for anybody that was worried that there might be an issue, there was zero um, for me anyway. Also, the adjusting dial, this right here, you can actually turn this whole piece here any way you want. So if you place the skimmer um, in any direction, you can have this handle facing you, whether it be straight forward to the side or back, it depends on how you put the skimmer, which is another really great function. You just turn this whole, this whole cylinder right here turns. And you can see right here, that's where the water exits, <coughs> which is um, one of the main reasons I got this is because I wanted the Venturi to suck in the water coming straight in after like the refugium section and then I wanted the outflow to go right into the next chamber. I didn't want it to recirculate itself, you know, recirculate and reskim the water that it just did and that's again, you know, uh, Murphy's Aquatics did some research for me and he said, dude, this would probably be perfect for you. And not the, you know, not just the reason it totally matches the sump, which is really awesome. That was just pure luck. But yeah, the Essence 130, top notch. I love it. It does have the quick disconnect skim eight cup. You know, you just like a little, um, not even a quarter turn pops right out. This is something I did. Um, I did do a video on that. I will leave a link at the top of the screen right now. Something very, very simple. But um, I just turned this valve open and it drains the skim eight out so that I don't have to take the cup off or turn the skimmer off. I just do it on the fly. It's really, really good. This is this is definitely um, one of my favorite pieces of equipment down in the sump. Love it. It's never had a random overflow on me before. Um, actually, yes, it did once, but it was because the water level in here I didn't have adjusted correctly, and the water level was really high. And I think right now. Actually, it's sitting at, you know what, let me pause it and I'll get the exact water level for you. All right, so the exact water level that it's sitting in is seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter right on the dot. So if you're thinking about getting one, um, seven inches to seven and a half is probably the sweet spot. I do have the dial set uh, at like 10, I think is the mark for it being open. It goes all the way to zero. So I do have plenty of adjustment left on it, but that's it. I just wanted to show you guys, give a, a full 
review on it, six months. That's a pretty good amount of time. You can see the bubbles in there are just, you know, it's kicking butt. It's really doing good. So that's it. If you're thinking about getting the Essence 130, it's definitely worth the money, in my opinion. Again, this is running my 75 gallon tank, which is a total water volume of 85 gallons with the display and the sump. And I think it's rated for up to 120 uh, with a medium bio load. But nowadays, I think um, underrated skimmers are the way to go. So this way you don't pull out too much junk out of your tank. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, update on the skimmer. And um, also, I'm going to be posting a uh, link to a previous video of how to tune a skimmer, which is been very helpful for a lot of people so you might want to check that out so that's it for now everybody and i will see you guys on the next one all right i just want to thank you guys again for stopping by if you did like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and while you're here hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates and in case you haven't seen these two videos you might want to click on one and check it out again thanks for stopping by